got a delivery today. I don't think it's a very good sign when you pick up the box and nuts and bolts start falling out. I don't think that's very good, Amazon. I mean, I think there might be a complication here. So let's hope that um, all of the nuts and bolts for everything are... I picked this one up. Let's hope we haven't lost anything else. But what are we going to do right now? Right now, we're going to put we're going to put lights in my shop because I can walk around in my shop now, which means I can put a ladder and I can get up and I can put lights. But I don't have I'm not going to run like electrical. I'm actually going to make them plug-in lights. So let's get going. I need this guy too. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, there's another one in the in the shop. Let's go. Step one is figure out where you want to put these. For me, because I am not doing it to where it's hardwired in, I'm putting one right up there and one back over there. So I got this one already mounted. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's fun. The next step is to unbox these puppies because we got to work on changing the wire. The cool thing about these is it's up about nine feet in the air. So I bought ones that have a pull chain on them because they're going to be plugged in to the ceiling outlet, I wanted to make sure that I could pull the chain. I'm just going to put a chain extension on it, so I'll always be able to turn it on and off. Now, this is where the next package comes in handy. It should be three. Yep, it's three. Three power cords. Let's put it all together. And here's how we're going to do it. We are going to take the little protective covers off, we're going to look for the one that has the ribs on it. We're going to take that one. You gently twist the wires, just gently. Then you're going to take the silver. You're going to put the ribbed one, silver one in just until it's in there. Then you're going to take your pliers and you're going to clamp it down. like that. And then you're going to take the other one and stick it, make sure you twist them just a little, and stick it in the gold side, just like that. There, to making sure they're both in there very taut. Now, you're going to take a light bulb, you're going to pull up screw it in till it's taut. Take this in, plug it into an outlet. There you go. Perfect. Now let's get into installing it. Now they come with their own screws. So you're going to take the screws. You're going to take the body. We're going to take this. Oh, I'm going to have to undo it and redo it because I got to fish them through here. No easy. It's easy peasy. Okay, now I'm going to work on screwing all the screwing the screws tight, and we'll get back to business. Okay, now that I have the box already installed, I'm going to plug this light in. It is a shop light that a friend of mine gave me, and. And then we're going to attach a longer pull cord to this and then we're going to test it now we plug it in and then we get down off the ladder and test to see if it works mm, wish me luck pull chain is the perfect height i'm not going to stand underneath it oh yeah okay i'm just going to say this right now these are the cheapest things you could ever find they are like jerry-rigged together. They're all plastic. I miss the porcelain ones. I have the porcelain ones over here. Yes, miss the porcelain ones, but I did jerry-rig it together. So, there you oh, I should have given you a flash warning. Flash warning may trigger here. Okay, one more, but I have to remove the, the, the bikes. That's not gonna be fun. Okay, so I finally finished. Mm-hmm, I finally finished. 
And let me just tell you, it has taken a dark and dreary shop and has lit it up. Oh, let me turn, let me plug in the last one because, you know, we still have one more. So every single time I come in here and I try to do recordings, I can't do recordings or talk to you. I have to do everything because it's so dark and dreary. I think we finally fixed it. Mm-hmm. Now, let me turn it off and I can show you what it looks like. There you go. It is mounted and it is wired in to plug into the outlet that's up there. That is the only, I only have three outlets in this shop and I only have one light fixture that is wired in and it is on that right there, that little light bulb. That little light bulb for 12 years lit this whole shop up. It was very, very dark. So there you go, that's what we got. You guys have a great day out there. I gotta go find, I, I do have to admit, I did not find where that missing bolt went. I did, however, have a horrible time trying to get the screws to work. Let's just cop a squat and talk about this for a minute. So I am noticing as I am doing electrical work and you will just, you know, bear with me here for a moment. I am noticing that not all screws and parts fit the same anymore. It used to be that you could go buy a circular little box and put it in and then whatever light fixture you bought, the screws that came with the light fixture would work with the box. No, not so much. How do I know this? Because I had two different boxes, one from 10 years ago and one from last week and well, Monday, and one box, the screws fit perfectly. Which one was that? Oh yeah, it was the old one. And the new box, the screws did not work that came with the light fixture. But great for me is I saved all the screws when we mounted a TV. And wouldn't you know it, one of the screws from the TV mounting kit, you know, they send you a whole bunch of those, you know, various screws and you pick the screw that works with your TV. Um, one of those screws worked. Yeah, so good thing, save all of your screws in a box and a container. And I spent two and a half hours rummaging through that box and I found the screw to work. There you go, you guys. Look at that. Look at that shop. You can see <gasps> that wood right there is going to build another one of these carts. Yep. You and I will do it together. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day out there.